So there's a lot of sort of, I guess, um, conversation around outside of cannabis around psilocybin and MDMA um, from our patients ourselves. You know, they're mm. really interested in that space. I think not just because it's an, as sort of as a way to sort of treat the anxiety. They, they, I think a lot of patients have come to a point of the pandemic and everything. They just sort of want to commence their process of sort of being consciously awakened in a way. Mm -hmm. So at Astrid, we sort of, where our vision is, is obviously to go beyond medicinal cannabis. Um, we hopefully, you know, want to sort of be able to push in terms of um, through our veterans community as well for psilocybin to be eventually legalized in Australia. So there are conversations in the background for us as well. It's not our core business at the moment, but it's definitely a space that we um, want to get to. I think our biggest sort of barrier as a, as a company, as we would say, is that until we get the framework for cannabis right, we almost find it that it's going to be challenging to sort of open the doors to other um, progressive medicines as well. Sure. So, so for us, it's like, while there is, like conversations at the moment around psilocybin and MDMA and where that's at with the TGA, we still feel like we need to get this current framework for medicinal cannabis, you know, I guess solid first so that if we take the learnings from, from this medication and, and what we have um, done really well and done not so well before we talk about psilocybin, because I think with psilocybin it's even more complex mm. in the way we have to deal with patients, you know, and there is a part of me that's sad in the sense of the, the cannabis industry very quickly has become a bit of a, a profit making industry as well. Yeah. And, and look, you know, I, I wouldn't be here if I didn't have a, a job in the cannabis industry, but we're starting to see sort of, you know, I guess patients who feel like when they go to clinics and stuff, it's like a 15 minute consult. They're not getting the care that they deserve. So, so I guess that Astrid will want to try and slow down. So mm -hmm. it's not just progressive medicine. It's also slow medicine. We want to, we want to say to patients, like, let's just look after you and tell us what you need and we're here to listen and we trust you as medical practitioners and everyone else that works there, we trust you. So I think for me, it's like we need to also parallel when we're talking about progressive medicine is talk about, well, what is the medical system we strive to have in place before we start yeah. dispensing?